we really underestimate the power of human presence and how that human presence can be expressed through listening. We really underestimate this. And I think also, um, not just the value that it has for the person who's being listened to, but also how it brings us into contact. Good listening brings us into contact with ourselves and with this moment. You know, um, when I work with young nurses who are uh, sometimes overwhelmed by the situations that they meet, um, the demands of the system or uh, the difficulties of working with a particular patient, I think of one uh, young nurse, for example, who would stay with a particular patient and, and when she would leave the patient, she would come home and she would just reflect and reverberate, really. She was like a reverberating chamber, you know, rolling around the suffering of this experience of this particular patient. And she came back into work the next day and she told her supervisor and her supervisor said, you need better boundaries. And what the young nurse understood that to mean is that she should withdraw more from this patient who she really cared for and really loved. And so that's what she did. She gradually withdrew. And when the woman died, she felt tremendously guilty. If we had taught that young nurse to just listen differently, she would have been able to stay present with the suffering and also stay balanced in herself. One of the models that we use in listening is to teach people how to listen from their heads, their hearts, and their bodies. When we listen from the head, we listen for content, we listen for the story, and we cultivate our wisdom and clarity and discernment. When we listen from the heart, we listen for the emotional flavor, and we cultivate our um, altruism and compassion and love. And when we listen from the body, we um, cultivate our intuition and also our presence. Because you see, the mind and the heart can be swept away into the past or the future, but the body is always here. If it's not, we're in trouble, huh? So when we teach uh, young nurses how to really sense their body, um, how to really feel the sensations of their body, that gives them a much greater access to their emotional life and um, a much greater access to the clarity of their mind. So that three-center check-in, we call it, head, heart, and body. If we could teach nurses to learn to listen from those different centers, um, they would have a more complete kind of listening, they would be able to stay more balanced in their own uh, selves, and they would be much more available to the people that they serve.